Hey there, welcome to my channel. What does every YouTuber want? What was one thing we all have in common? Put it in the comments. <laughs> right, we all wanna grow our channel. Everybody wants to grow your channel. Whether you're starting at zero, you wanna grow. You wanna to get to that thousand so you'll get monetized. If you're at a thousand, then you're trying to get to two or 3,000. You're sitting at 3,000, you wanna to get to 10,000. I just watched a YouTuber who hit 100,000 and she was upset that she is kind of at a standstill around 115,000. The point I'm trying to make is no matter where you're at, you, we all have the same goal. We want to be better. We want to, we want to grow our channel. And today I want to talk about something. We as small YouTubers, one of the best ways to grow your channel is to create searchable videos, right? Something that other people are looking for and that helps you to grow. So therefore, would you agree that in your YouTube analytics, then you probably will find your traffic is mostly coming from search, correct? I have two channels and one is only about six months old. The other one's a couple years old. And I want to show you something in the analytics. I have been following that. I have been following, create those searchable videos so people can find them and that'll help your channel grow. There's so many other factors involved and I want to show you that today and prove it to you. Another thing that I have been told, I just did a course, you know, how to grow your, your YouTube channel, went through all these steps and all these things. And one of the things the instructor said was, you cannot create a channel based on your passion. And I 100% disagree with that. But I took the course, I listened and blah, blah, blah. Well, in the meantime, right after I took the course, I did create a channel that I had a passion about. I wanted to experiment and see. So I want you to see what happened. I'll show you my main channel, my one that's monetized, and then I'll show you the one I built based on passion, that I don't do anything with it except let it grow organically. And I wanna show you something amazing that I just discovered the other day. Now, before we hop in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button. You will have a video once a week on how to grow your YouTube channel. Follow me on my journey as I grow, and then you can get the tips and tricks that I've been learning and apply them to your channel as well. All right, let's dig in and look at these two different channels. We're gonna look at the analytics of my main channel. This one is monetized. It has about 3,500 subscribers as of now. I can remember back when I was at zero, I thought, oh my gosh, will I ever get to 3,500? And I'm there, and now I'm looking at all those people at 10,000. So you're always looking ahead, and that's a good thing. You wanna be looking at other people. But I am following my own advice. See right here, I am under analytics and then under reach. Right here, YouTube search, 61% is how my videos on this channel are being found. Suggested videos is at 15%. What we want eventually, what makes a channel blow up and really get pushed by YouTube and get picked up in the, in, in the algorithms is right here. The suggested videos and then the browse features. I've been hanging at 3.5, 3.7% with browse features for a while now. Now this is just showing my video in my channel in the last 28 days. You can see here, pretty steady. My click-through rate is about 5.5. Anything over 2%, you're doing well. So now let me show you my other channel. I based, I built this channel with passion. I just, I love the Amish. I live out in the country and I thought, I just want to start making videos about how the Amish live and just answer different questions about the Amish because I've always been fascinated with their lifestyle. And that's why I even chose the house that I'm at now. I picked this piece of property about 15 years ago, built a house about 10 years ago, and I live right amongst Amish people. So it is a passion for me, but I built the channel Two reasons. One, I have a passion. I love making them. I really didn't care if it got monetized, didn't expect it to. It hasn't been yet, but I really didn't expect a lot of growth um, as much as I enjoy making them. So again, then I want to prove my own theory. I, I have a small YouTube course and in it, I tell people to create something they're passionate about. And I really 100% believe that. I created something and I'm gonna show you that a channel can take off from something you're passionate about. All right, here's my channel. It's called My Amish Neighbors. I do not, um, it's not in my name. I have a different name, different little logo here. Everything's different. I've only made a few. I make about two videos a month. It's nothing. If I can't make it, I don't worry about it. Um, 
but they're fun. I really enjoy it. I'm very passionate, but look just in the last six months, look at the views. Everything is in double, uh, triple digits or more doing much better than the channel, my main channel. Um, one of the things that are different, my main channel is in a very high competitive area. This one is not, but you can see, um, different types of, of videos that I've made. Most, most of them are informative and I always try to ask, answer questions because I'm doing what I teach others to do. You need to make searchable videos, find something somebody's asking about, answer those questions. So let's go down here to the analytics. Now this is in the last 28 days, just like we did with the other one. And you can see 2000 views, 91 hours and 23 subscribers. And that's just in the last month. So more than almost half of what all my subscribers came in just the last month. And I'm like, well, why, why is this one growing so quickly? Look down here. Remember I said to go under reach and look at the traffic. Where is the traffic coming from? And look at this, the browse features are at 51%, suggested videos are at 30 and YouTube search is at nine. This is what I've been trying to do on the other channel. This is what you want. You want your browse features to be high. If YouTube picks you up and you get picked up in the algorithms, then you're going to grow faster. And that's what's happening here. Now I'm not showing it to you to say, look what I did. I'm showing you because what I want you to get from this is you can create a channel based on something you're passionate about. I'm not guaranteeing you that it'll get picked up. I'm letting you know though, that it could get picked up. Everybody has other interests out there besides how can I grow my YouTube channel? Or, um, maybe they're, everybody's not looking to be entertained by Mr. Beast, even though he does an excellent job. My point is, is there something that you're passionate about? Something that you want to share with the world and you're afraid to start your channel because you don't think anybody will watch it. I'm encouraging you right now to start that YouTube channel and share what you're passionate about. If it blows up great. If it doesn't, then you've enjoyed creating it. You've not lost anything by creating the videos in the first place. It's not that hard. I do have a small mini course to help you just get started to get it all set up and get all set up for success. I am, I have the link below, look at it. And if you've not started your channel, then that's for you. And I encourage you to start the channel with something you're passionate about. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was encouraging. And I hope it's getting you off your rear end so that you get your channel started. I'll see you on the next video and thank you for watching.